What is going on, everybody? So I am back today to talk about a film that is a little older. I believe this film came out in 2019. And every now and again, I'll watch a slew of movies or go on Letterboxd and see some films that I really love. And Letterboxd does this cool thing where you can see films that are like recommended in a similar vein. And so some of my favorite films are films like Synecdoche, New York, and It's Such a Beautiful Day. Movies that are like really thought-provoking studies of life in a way that feels sometimes subversive, sometimes really surreal, sometimes very naturalistic. And I've so seen the poster to this film like half a million times and I saw that this was streaming on Hulu and I decided I wanted to give it a chance because of how many times that I've seen it recommended in lieu of films that I really love. And the movie I'm going to be discussing today is About Endlessness. About Endlessness is directed by Roy Anderson. A reflection on human life and all its beauty and cruelty, its splendor and banality guided by a narrator. Inconsequential moments have the same significance as historical events. Simultaneously an ode and a lament presents a kaleidoscope of all that is eternally human, an infinite story of the vulnerability of existence. So I'm not sure I could sum it up much better than the letterbox description did. Uh, but I didn't know what to expect with this because I'd never seen any of Roy Anderson's work. I wasn't 100% sure what this movie was going to be like, and I absolutely loved this film. I think it is, uh, for someone like me that looks for something very specific in film, has a lot of ideas going on in my mind as to what film can be and what film can convey, this like unlocked some things in my head as far as like could this be possible in cinema to convey this in a specific way? Roy was able to do it in a way that's so beautiful and so different and so abstract. And I've seen some reviews of some of his other films now post watching this movie and apparently this is very much his style and the way that he likes to present his material which I'll be very interested to watch more. There's not a super concise narrative. Essentially are dropped into these vignettes throughout the hour and 20 minute runtime of this movie and it's just all over the place. You have one vignette that you continue to uh, come back to over and over again is a priest who is losing his faith. And we see him in certain circumstances during the day and like he's seeing a therapist trying to figure out like what do I do now that I've lost my faith. He's like getting ready to serve communion and church and he starts downing the entire bottle of wine. You see someone at a train station whose shoe breaks and they're just there with their child and they have to deal with that and walk off and continue on with their day. You see a, a man with his daughter walking to a birthday party in the rain and he has to stop and drop his umbrella and tie his child's shoes. You get these long expositional scenes sequences with this guy running into one of his high school friends that the two of them don't really like each other anymore. And it's this wide array of overly dramatic events, banal, normal, everyday events in regular life. There's a flashback to World War II at one point. All different kinds of scenes and sequences in this that there's, there's not really a specific way that they're aligned. And I think that that makes what the film is going for all the more poignant. I absolutely loved this, as I said, and I think one of the reasons why I love it so much is our existence as a whole is so complex. It's it's very difficult to kind of boil down the, the age-old question, why are we here? Why do we continue to keep going? What is our purpose? And for some people, they grab a hold onto religion and they think there's an afterlife and their whole existence is pursuing this deity. For other people like me that have no faith or no, or no attachment to any religious background. It's more of what you do with the time that you're given and the relationships that you make and trying to put out some form of good in the world to make this place better for whoever comes next. And I think for each individual person, it's very different. And I, what I love that Roy Anderson is saying with this film is at the end of the day, similar to what Charlie Kaufman says in his dialogue in Synecdoche, New York, it's the specifics hardly matter. Everyone is everyone. And I think that's one of the most beautiful things ever said in film and I think that is this film personified you're seeing all different sorts of scenarios in people's lives and they inter they interconnect in a way that is so beautiful where you'll have sound design from one scene that seamlessly transitions you into the next scene into just some kids looking over some schoolwork and talking about energy and how people's energies can connect and even after you die your energy could meet another person's energy and there's so many different conversations brought to the forefront and some of them are just so heartbreaking and then some of them are so beautiful there's a 
sequence of these girls that are just going to like what seemed to be like a diner outside somewhere and there's a song playing and they just all break out dancing and just dance together and they laugh and they have a great time there's a scene of a man just crying his eyes out on the bus about something that's happened to him you don't really know what it is but everyone else is very reactive to what he's doing and I think that that says something about the human existence we're so easy to just stack importance for people right like we look at celebrities NFL athletes uh, politicians to some people and we put them on this pedestal of like okay they're here then you have like doctors and surgeons and the people who the firefighters people that do life-saving work to help people on a day-to-day -day basis and then you have like essential workers and then you have people that work in the food service industry and it's like almost like this stacked up system for how we're supposed to perceive where people fall in line at, at, at the point they're at in their own lives. And it's all really bullshit, right? Because we are all human beings. We're all people. In theory, every single one of our existences matter from the, the most unimportant person that exists to supposedly the most important person that exists. And the way this film conveys that is that each specific circumstance in this film is viewed through the lens that it is important for you to watch it in that moment. And it is important to realize that even the most minimal of thing is a part of your life. Even your car breaking down, which is a great sequence in this film, is a part of your life. It's something that has impacted you in some kind of way. Whether that's a menial annoyance that just prevents you from getting somewhere, or it becomes a larger circumstance that your car is broken down for a larger period of time, and that it makes it more difficult for you to get to your job, and it makes it more difficult for you to get to your family. And, it, and the thing that the film is trying to say is each specific thing that you go through in life adds up to whatever life is. Is, whatever you want this equation to add up to and even though things in this film can look very menial and mundane and bland it doesn't make it any less important than the moments that are seen seen as very big and dramatic in this film and that's what I really loved about it is that it kind of looks at it as every human being is who they are for a reason and the things that happen to them happen for a reason and I, I just love that whole idea and I think this whole existence can be very confusing and it can be very difficult to just navigate your way through the day to day and this is one of those movies that looks at that in a very beautiful way and the cinematography in this is unlike anything I've ever seen it's very gray the color palette are very bland and muted it almost feels like you're looking at an art piece there's like virtually no shadows in the way that it's shot it's very like everything has very sharp edges everything looks like it's in a living art piece that's really the only way I can describe it my my vocabulary isn't grand enough to be able to describe it in the way that it uh, does it its due diligence but it's it's like you're sucked into the screen and it is impossible to look away at what you're experiencing even in the moments that are seemingly mundane and bland and that's what I loved about this is that it, it really looks at life through a lens of what it actually is it's not like glamorizing it it's not trying to make it out to be something that it's not it's like this is life this is how we live it this is what we have to go through to get to whatever the end goal is once we die if there's something after death whatever people believe and that's just really beautiful to me and I love movies that kind of examine that whole idea and look at it especially when this film starts tackling religion I just thought that it was really fascinating doing it through the lens of a priest that's losing their faith I thought that was a really fascinating way to go about it and this is a movie that I cannot wait to revisit because I feel like every time I watch it I'll get something different out of it. So have you seen About Endlessness? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was brilliant. I really did not know what to expect, but now I can't wait to watch more of Roy Anderson's work. As always, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.